Okay. I'm serving all types of 80s workout vibe with this outfit, honey. Hmm. Okay. Welcome back to my channel, Curly by Nature. Of course, I am Star. Today's video is going to be my April favorites video. Today is May the 2nd, so I want to get it out to you guys uh, in a timely fashion. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in. The first item is going to be the Belle Novu. This is the detoxifying mint co-wash from their hair recovery collection. If you don't know about them, I'm definitely going to link them down in the description box. I love love this brand okay um it is a black owned business um it's a small business everything are you know all the products are made handmade in small batches with love so the quality is on point the ingredients are on point so uh holla at them okay but anywho, uh, again, back to this mint detoxifying co-wash. It has activated charcoal and peppermint oil. Um, it's a sulfate-free cleansing conditioner. All of the products are no mineral oil, petroleum, parabens, artificials, uh, or GMOs. This has completely replaced uh, my monthly shampoo. Uh, I only shampoo once a month. I de- uh, I co-wash my hair on a weekly basis and this completely eliminates all of my builds up from my scalp uh, but it doesn't strip my hair of all of its natural oils it feels completely cleansed and clean I love 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 the pepperminty charcoal like you can feel it working it just it does something wonderful to my scalp so uh, this is the co-wash I have been grabbing for all month long I have another co-wash from their brand that's just as great but this works wonders for me when it comes for my build up so I have been grabbing it all month long and of course it's time to repurchase and I'm mad because they just had a sale honey and I I missed it but that's okay boom I'm still coming back next now. is the Aunt Jackie's this is the in control I featured this in the haul if you haven't seen it I'll link it guys for you uh, I probably up here in the card somewhere um, but this is the anti poof moisturizing and softening conditioner in that video I mentioned that in the instructions it says that you can use this um, as a co-wash and I was excited to see the co-wash capabilities so when I didn't have as much build up when I didn't use that other uh, co-wash I use this as a co-wash for my hair honey and for this to be a conditioner this cleans the mess out of my hair almost to the point that if it it could have almost like strip my oils, but at the same time, it was still very moisturizing. It was great for detangling. It had excellent slip. Um, you know, it was great for curl definition like this. Shock the out of me, okay? Like complete shocker. And it's cheap. It was only $7.99 for this is how many? This is a 15 ounce jar for $7.99. And it worked wonders and a little bit of this went a long way I'm definitely going to continue to repurchase this and use it going into this month um, it's gonna to have to stay in the rotation because as a conditioner this is great for cleansing and co-washing so I definitely recommend it for that I would really recommend this for like a regular conditioner to leave in because I felt like it cleansed my hair a lot better than it moisturized my hair if that makes sense um, but definitely halfway bait okay next is going to be another item from the Aunt Jackie's line this is the not on my watch in the tangling therapy also featured in my last haul uh, I have been gravitating if you can see uh, for this all uh, month it's great with detangling and single strand knots it compares a lot to my kinky curly knot today I still love my kinky curly knot today I'm gonna repurchase that forever but this is definitely you know a second runner up and it's a lot more uh, cost effective it's only $7.99 for the 12 fluid ounce bottle. Um, it says this helps to soften, restore uh, moisture balance, eliminates tangles uh, and knots for natural curls, coils, and waves. 
Um, it didn't do anything for me as far as curl definition, but detangling, it had great slip. It has like a light smell to it. Um, a light smell, it doesn't linger. It kind of smells citrusy, like a orange creamsicle is what this remind me of. But this doesn't, it doesn't linger in the hair, so it doesn't really bother me since it has that fragrance. But again, definitely great for detangling. Didn't do much for definition, but it did feel moisturizing and it had wonderful slip. Next is going to be the styler I've been gravitating for um, all month with the exception of trying a new product. This Kinky Curly is Bay. Of course, this is the original curling custer. As you can see, I've been putting my foot all the way up in this. That's how much I've been using it. This just gives me the best results out of all of my stylers. With the close second runner up of the new uh, Silk Elements Pure Oils that I just did a review on, I'll put that up in the cards for you guys as well. Um, that's definitely a great dupe. And I haven't shingled that in my hair. This I usually always shingle in my hair. It makes my hair last a really long time. Uh, up until wash day, I have the same definition from day one to day six or seven, depending on which day I decide to wash. So this is a staple in my collection. And again, this month, because I've been working out a lot, I just you know, I had to use this because it definitely, definitely holds up in my hair. I don't have a uh, cream to mention uh, as part of like my wash and go process for this month because I've been trying out different creams because I have a lot of new products I wanted to bring in, but I don't have one to mention. So I'm just going to jump right into the oil. Uh, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil by Sunny Isle. Now, I've always used Jamaican Black Castor Oil in my wash and go routine, but I haven't always used this brand. And I'm going to tell you why this brand has been like my favorite, because this is actually pure 100% uh, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. My Jamaican Mango and Lime, I looked at the ingredients and I didn't even notice until I compared the two bottles. That has some other things mixed into it, and it wasn't as thick as this is, and I've actually been using this on my scalp as a part of my scalp massages, and after I apply my leave-in, I have been running it down the length of my hair. Um, basically, it helps to like close up my cuticles and eliminate any frizz or anything, um, but this says it's the only Jamaican black castor oil approved for export by the Jamaican government. Um, I don't know you know how factual that is but that's what it says on the bottle uh, and it's the extra dark so this I've been loving for my scalp I've seen a significant difference in the results as far as like growth um, in this product as opposed to the previous Jamaican black castor oil I was using so I'm definitely going to continue to purchase this one. So that's all for hair you guys. Uh, next I'm going to jump into what I've been using on my skin. My skin has been in rare form this month. Like I don't know what was going on with the month of April but I've been getting a lot more like hormonal breakouts down here on my chin. Um, I have like some hyperpigmentation right here from a breakout that I'm working on getting rid of. But what's been working to clear up not only the acne, but the hyperpigmentation are the products that I'm going to show you next. First off, I've been using these uh, Say Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Face Wipes. Uh, typically, I use, but I don't wear makeup. Um, my skin is really sensitive and I don't know how to put it on, but I use these when, like when I'm working out or when I go from outside, I like to walk the dog or something and I'm sweaty. It Basically the oils from my hair kind of sweat down into my forehead and I have to immediately get that up as soon as I come in the house. So I've been using these. These wipes have been making my face feel so refreshed. It eliminates because it has the charcoal, the impurities, and it just basically stops my pores from getting clogs in between face washes. Uh, so this has definitely been helping me through my troubling month of April as far as trying to re-clear my skin. Next up is also a face mask. This is the Pierre's uh, Detoxifying Facial Mask with Activated Charcoal Black Seed Mineral Mud. It decleans pores and dissolves impurities. Now this is a mask that you're supposed to leave on, let it dry, and wash off. I've actually been leaving this on my face 
space and sleeping in it overnight to be able to dry out any breakouts that I've had. And if I put it on my face um, at night before I go to bed after I cleanse and then go to sleep with it, the next day, whatever breakout I had is completely dried out. Then the next struggle I have to deal with is the hyperpigmentation. But yes, yeah, so you're only supposed to leave it on for seven to ten minutes. I put this on my face and like my, my T zone area uh, and down here around my chin, and I sleep with it on overnight. I don't put it on my cheeks or around my nose to leave like overnight because that's where my skin dries out a whole lot. So I don't want to dry out and cause flakiness in this area. But it has been drying out any breakouts I've had within. 24 hours, sometimes depending on how bad or deep under the skin the breakout is, um, then it may take two days, but at least it dries it out. And again, it definitely worked. I actually found this at Ross for $5.99, if you guys can see that. I looked it up online to be able to repurchase it. I was only able to find it on Amazon, and it's actually like $15.99. I am going to repurchase it, but I do have, let me just show you guys. I have quite a bit left i mean i've used a whole whole lot as you can see um this particular month i love the way it smells too it smells really light and fresh that's just all i can describe it as it's light and fresh but um when this runs out i am going to repurchase it online uh, i'm going to look at ross first to see if i can find it again for the 5.99 as opposed to 15.99 but if you're able to find this online at amazon or at your local ross tj maxx marshalls they kind of keep stuff like this uh, then i would definitely recommend you picking up next for skincare is my little homemade concoction that i keep in here um just to show you guys this is uh, turmeric, organic honey, and Himalayan sea salt that I combine with some tea tree oil into a scrub to be able to help clear up my hyperpigmentation. At the beginning of the month, my face here, the dark spots were really, really bad. And as you can see, like they're pretty much almost gone here. This one is new, so I'm still working on that. But the dark spots were really prominent and really, really bad. And this has been helping so much. And it makes my skin feel so soft after I put it on. Um, typically after I cleanse my face, I go in with this and just basically apply it all around with the scrub brush. And because it has the Himalayan salt that I ground up and put into it, it works great as an exfoliator. Turmeric is great for brightening skin, clearing up acne, um, and getting the impurities out. Also, um, tea tree oil is an antifungal, so it definitely gets down to be able to eliminate the impurities, and it's supposed to help with acne and dark spots as well. I added the Himalayan sea salt as an exfoliator to be able to, uh, you know, get the top layer of dead skin out of my face. And the honey um, also is great for skin. It softens. It helps to brighten, like with the turmeric combined. This has been bay. So I um, got a really big bag of all the ingredients. And a big bottle of tea tree oil everything i use in here um the turmeric is a uh, usda organic and it's certified 100 percent natural as is like the tea tree oil and the himalayan sea salt so and the honey so all natural ingredients this is what i have been using on my face i have some ex expensive face masks and cleansers and after a while my skin tends to get used to things but this definitely um has done wonders for my face as well as I scrub it into my back with like a scrub brush for you know hyperpigmentation because I do get back breakouts that I'm just like <laughs> why 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 can't my skin let me be great I drink water I drink nothing but water I have a coffee every now and then but I drink eight bottles of water a day why is my skin breaking out I eat healthy I eat right like why why hmm Tell me. Anywho, um, this has been working wonders. So I'm glad I got these ingredients and I'm going to continue to use this on my face. Next up, I'm going to uh, move over to body care. The only thing I've been putting on my skin as far as to keep it moisturized for my body, not outside of my face, is this Red Velvet Body Butter by Belle Novu. Uh, as you can see, this one is about gone. However, I have two more because when I ordered, I ordered like three of the Red Velvet kind and one of the Amaretto Cream. They also have a new one. 
that I'm going to buy. But when I tried to buy it, it was out of stock. So hopefully when I go back, it's going to be back in stock. Um, but again, this is the Red Velvet Moisture Butter for Hands, Body, and Feet. It's raw shea butter and olive oil. Um, basically, it's just blended in small batches. It smells like a fresh baked ice cake as opposed to that like Play-Doh um, shea butter smell, but it moisturizes my skin and makes it feel really good and soft. These were a limited edition um, that they had like for the winter time. So they don't have these particular fragrances, but they do have like another body butter. I think it's like safe flower and something else. I don't want to say it wrong, but they do have another body butter on their site that I've been looking to try. And of course, I'm sure it's going to be just as great as this one. Um, so I'm about to move on to my second jar of the year because this is bae like their body products have been all as far as moisturizing it's all i've been putting in my skin i love it for my hair so if you don't know anything about the brand definitely check out their website next i'm going to jump back to a couple of hair items i forgot to mention um these are my slap caps by grace alaya as you can see um i love my bonnet and like my scarf but when I put my hair in a pineapple, I have to put my scarf on and then my bonnet on top of that. And sometimes with the satin on top of satin, my scarf wants to slide and I have to kind of fight to keep it on my hair. So I really wanted to try out the slap caps because I've heard some great things about it. Uh, this does stay on my head all night. I just pineapple my hair and throw this over the top of it. And now because it's kind of like long, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I wake up and it be down here covering my eyes. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it doesn't come off my head. Um, and that's the important thing. I also wear, like, when I'm working out, sometimes if I don't want, I wear my hair down sometimes. Or if it's wet, I throw this over top. I've also been using, this is like their uh, baseball cap. I got it in black. And it's satin line on the inside. This is for those uh, messy hair or just came from the gym, didn't have time to, you know, do something to it, throw it on top. It's really super cute. I love that it has the buckle in the back. So if I want to do like a low pony, I can. Uh, it doesn't dry out your hair because of the satin. So these are definitely some of my favorites. I can't wait to order more colors of the cap um, and a few more of these. Um, because they're bae. I think it was worth the money for me. Now, this is a one-size-fit-all cap, so let me just tell you, depending on the size of your head, my head is a little not that big. Okay, I ain't gonna say small, but it's not that big, and this is kind of wide for the band, so I have to kind of put it down to cover my ears, because if I put it like above my ears or if it's not over it, I feel like it's gonna be too loose. Again, I wake up sometimes and it's like covering my forehead or my eyes, um, but I washed it and I dried it on accident, but I'm glad that I did because you're not supposed to dry it, but I did dry it on accident and I'm glad that I did because it kind of like shrank the band around my head so it fits a little bit tighter. So if you have a really small head or not thick enough hair, maybe this won't work for you, but it's definitely um, worth a try in my book. Last but not least, guys, um, I have a fragrance to mention. This I mentioned in my spring uh, favorites fragrances, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, this is a brand new bottle, and if you can see that I've used like a good bit of it here. Um, and again, I use these in rotation, so I'm not using the same fragrance every day. But this is the one I have been grabbing for the most. This is the Visace uh, Eros Pore Femme. I love it. It's like a sweet lemon citrus. It has the floral and it has a little bit of the woody notes on the dry down. I love, love fragrance. And this is definitely Bay. So check it out. So that's it for all of my April uh, favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know some of the things that you've enjoyed for this month. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.